There's an old Latin phrase, ars longa vita brevis, which roughly translates to art is long, life is short. Or in other words, art usually outlasts the artist. Yeah, exactly. But the coronavirus pandemic is inspiring one art form that's both urgent and temporary. WGN's Mike Lowe explains in tonight's cover story. It's been said that nothing lasts forever, and that's as true of a pandemic as it is of a painting. Yeah, I was the art director at United Airlines. Australian-born graphic artist William Delmont was laid off. We didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was. From his job at United Airlines in Chicago, a result of the pandemic's economic fallout, Delmont found himself with time on his hands. I was going to put reds out. Yeah, I put the colors in front. So he used them. Yellows. To pick up some paint. Oh, there it is. And he got back to work in this Lincoln Park lot using art as therapy. I think I feel better for doing something. Like I was kind of like, oh, what do I do? Make masks, you know, try and contribute like, you know, with my skills. And when you're laid off, you just become more creative. Like, what can I do that would make people feel good? Let's do something, not COVID, but like something a bit more positive for the community to, to enjoy. His mural is a message. The initial letters were spread love behind. At the end of the rainbow. And then love is contagious over the top. Street art is perhaps the purest form of social commentary, taking on big subjects like race and class. And here in the city of Big Shoulders, artists have always managed to take emotions and translate them into images, adding color to the civic conversation. You could take a wall that's just blank, put some color into it, make it pop. As the pandemic reshapes society, artists are finding new ways to respond, making the bleak a bit brighter. Initially, I was going to make them all the same color, and then I just figured, well, we've got all these different colors, so I might as well use them. 35-year-old muralist James Mosier painted three panels. Just three hands washing themselves, step-by-step -step process, you know, rinse, wash, dry. I hope they just remember to wash their hands. It's pretty simple. Stages and theaters are dark. Museums and music venues are closed. Artists are officially non-essential workers. Artists have been non-essential, but you know, it's interesting because during this time we actually take advantage of it and just create work and grow. And hopefully when all this is over, we can come out stronger, wiser, with much more work that we've produced while in quarantine. 40-year-old Milton Coronado has done a number of murals in Chicago and around the world, including the celebrated tribute to murdered mother Marlene Ochoa Lopez in Pilsen. Artists like to represent the community and they like to send out a message. His message is one of gratitude for hospital workers, and it's inspired by his wife. She's a nurse, uh, and she's the one I use as a model for this portrait here. Who do we commemorate? Who do we uh, applaud? And without a question, um, it was a nurse. As Chicagoans rumble by on the L, across Fullerton near California, they see a stern masked figure staring back with two words, stay home. We figure you know, with all this pandemic going on, we wanna reach out, especially to this culture, especially to this community of young people and young adults. Let's stay home, let's respect these rules so all this can be over. Back in Lincoln Park. I'm hoping to finish it today. There is a belief keep some art going in the community. You can't even go to the Yard Institute right now. In the healing power of art. I think everyone just needs like their spirits lifted at the moment. What can I do to help? I can do this. Street artists are trying to enhance, encourage, and engage us. But this craft, like a crisis, is never permanent. When the whole pandemic is over, Eventually, this will be covered up. For an individual who paints out here in the streets, it's one of these unwritten rules that you have to accept, that you acknowledge, that you know. And it tells a lot about the artist. Because even knowing that, and you still want to paint and do something beautiful, to know that it will be covered up, it tells a lot about the artist, the passion for the art, and his character. In Chicago, Mike Lowe, WGN News. And the art goes on, no matter what. Coming up, fall new on the W.